Alright guys, how are we? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It's been my absolute pleasure to take you through from numbers 100 down to 90 thus far on the journey of Rugby Player Reacts to the NFL's Top 100 Players in 2023. Today we look at number 89, Marshawn Lattimore, cornerback for the Saints. Uh, it's a name I certainly recognize. I can't, for whatever reason, I've got Marlon Humphrey in my head when I think of Marshawn Lattimore. It's certainly not. Um, cornerback, punching the ball, lots of tackles, couple interceptions, few sacks. <laughs> I've just pulled that shit out of my ass completely. Um, first things first, let's look at his stats. Marshawn Lattimore, cornerback, six foot, 192 pounds, plays for the Saints, went to Ohio State, born May 20th, 1996. He's 27 years of age. He got drafted by the Saints in the first round with the 11th overall pick in the 2017 NFL Draft. So he's a Saint through and through. And I did all that on one breath. Only played seven games last year, one interception and one touchdown, defensive touchdown. He's played 80 career games. He's got 14 total interceptions. Uh, what do we got? 327 total tackles, 265 solo, 62 assisted, five tackles for loss. And yeah, it just looks like his season last year was cut short. I don't know why. I don't know if he was suspended or injured. I assume injured, although there was a few suspensions floating around the league. If we head back, if we go back in time a bit, let's go to his combine measurements. 436. For the 40 yard dash, 13, 132 inches, which is, uh, what's that, 11 feet for the broad jump, 38 and a half inches in the vertical, 436 for the 40 yard dash, he is absolutely flying out there. Ah, it's just disappointing when you got a guy with that kind of speed, with that kind of explosiveness, and he doesn't actually have the ball in hand too often. It's a waste. Either way, someone's got to play cornerback, and Lattimore is that guy. Let's have a look at him. Ooh, against Evans. How tall is he? Six foot. A lot of more there. To be able to take away the entire side of the field like he does is it's really hard, especially when you gotta match up and follow guys. So that's something he's consistently done year in and year out. He's been a guy that's just been shut down for a while. What is that the tone? Consistent? What? What is that the tone, man? Let's go. I mean, honestly, he's he's kind of been proven to just be one of the more consistent. One thing I did notice, and it might not mean anything to you, but for a guy who's watched a fair few of these videos thus far, he's my guy that's to actually crazy. have someone talking in the background whilst they play this graphic, that has never happened over the last six years until now. Shut down for a while. What is that the tone? I don't know if that's a mistake or what. What is that the tone, man? Let's go. I mean, honestly, he's, he's kind of been proven to just be one of the more consistent DBs. There's not too many flaws in his game at all, uh, but you got you to gotta figure out a way to attack somebody like him because if you don't, he's like, uh, he's almost like a hyena. Yeah, I'm still standing. From the moment the ball was snapped, there's contact. He's up in his face. Now imagine marking guys like Mike Evans at six foot five and fucking DK Metcalf. Imagine how hard that'd be. Lattimore's been in his hip pocket the entire day. Ain't nothing weak about me. I did earn all my respect. Flex. If you show him blood or you show fear. Yeah, you don't just want to push him out. You want to throw them out. Your weakness or anything, he's going to take advantage of it. For the fifth time in six years, Marshawn Lattimore graces the top 100. In 2022, he missed 10 games with a lacerated kidney, but made it back in time to add a signature highlight to his impressive resume. My whole team goes a lacerated kidney? We gotta get some information on that. Injury 2022. Exited Sunday's win against the Seahawks with an abdomen injury. Suffered when he tried to help defend a touchdown pass in his own end zone, targeting another player. Instead, the pass was completed for a score and he fell in a pile with several others. So it was called an abdomen injury, but it's... A lacerated... Lacerated kidney? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Me Was that in his comeback game? Pick six. He's 
a veteran, a guy that you know seen a lot, and he can tell. Did he pick off Devonte Smith there? Takes the snap, throws a quick one, and that's picked off by Mark. No, it was number eleven. I think Smith was number one. No, Jalen Hurts number one. Hang on, number six. Okay, so that was uh, Brown, I think. Pick six. He's a veteran, a guy that you know seen a lot, and he can tell when you're about to do something. How many steps you're taking, your splits and things like that. It's just one on one. And Marshawn is sitting on it all the way and he catches it clean and that is exactly what this Saints team needed. Oh Gardner Minshew, come on, mate. I mean I I love to see him still in the league, I really do. He got a start with the Jags. Um in fact I vividly remember watching live his first career start he went 11 of 11 passes what a time to be alive it's huge into game planning when you're playing against a player like him and you gotta gotta make sure you're ready for him oh yeah absolutely so uh what we're gonna do is finish this video off in the fashion that we've done previously which is putting marsh on Lattimore at six foot 192 pounds playing cornerback obviously he likes being on defense he can put in the hits he runs a 436 40 yard dash and jumps 38 and a half inches now where would he fit in on a rugby field well i would say on the wing i mean cornerback you're out there on an island you have experience tackling your opposite man one-on-one -on -one close to the sideline in this case you'd probably want to stay in if you've got the ball but also if you're on the defensive side of the ball you want to you want to tackle them out so he's, he's got experience doing that i think he's definitely suited to be on the wing and i'm going to say either wing left or right looks like he's got uh, skill on both sides of the field he was positioned on the right hand side yeah i'm going to say it's an, this is a this is a pretty easy one i'm going to put him on the wing i'm going to put him on the right wing due to the fact i saw him on the right um, in a few of those clips so there you go Marshawn Lattimore if you want to come and play rugby, bruh, you're on the wing. Don't worry, you can score a lot of tries. You get the glory, and also you've got the you've you've got the um the speed to chase down opposing wingers if they were to break through a couple of tackles, get into the open field. It's up to you to turn and chase them, just like you do uh, as a cornerback. But also on the offensive side of the ball, that's when it gets exciting. You get a guy with a four three forty yard dash with the ball in hand and see what you can do. That's the tragedy of cornerbacks. They've got such amazing speed and agility, but they don't get to use it. They don't get to use it, in my opinion, anyway. All right, guys, that's another video done and dusted. I'll see you in the next. Bye.